Hey, what's up, everybody? Faye here, and welcome back to a new video. Today, we'll be going through another episode of Slime Rancher. This episode number is actually... I actually got checked. It's been a minute. I'll say it's been a minute. It's been like two days. Uh, this is episode 32 you guys are watching. Episode 32 of Slime Rancher. Of course, I'm doing the exact same shit I've been doing in the previous two episodes of this series. Which is just going to Odgan Ordis' thing, going to the wilds and collecting as many Kookadoobas as possible. That's literally what my process has been. I ended up uh, unlocking the first stage. I ended up completing like the first stage. I'm, I basically am breaking it. Breaking the... Uh, like the situation with Odgan Ordis or whatever. I'm breaking that shit down into three different stages. The first stage is when you unlock the Miracle Mix. Until you unlock the Miracle Mix, that's still the first stage. After you unlock the Miracle Mix, you enter into the second stage, which is buying the uh, the deluxe upgrade, which is like, which is like, it's a farm, it's a, it's a garden upgrade that basically just makes your garden bigger, to where you can get more, uh crops from that garden and then like once you unlock that that stage two done you move on to the third and final stage which is working to unlock the uh the actual like ranch spots in audience area so i usually got a cycle for episodes like this i go over here grab all the food and all that grab all the food Garden. Yeah, this is what Miracle makes me doing. How they build different. Bro, bro. Type shit. I also ended up watching a uh, Slime Rancher video recently. And I saw that, like, uh, some things that are really good to be using on a uh, game of Slime Rancher are, like, drones and shit like that. Like, I already knew that market links and all that shit were good. But like, if you combine that with a drone, that should be crazy type shit. Hey, that that shit is good. My oh, boy. Type shit. Bro, nobody be buying the fucking scarce ones. I just do it so I have all the upgrades out of the way. Getting all that milk mangoes in your system. Okay. Head over to the lab. Feed these goofballs. I could get drones to like collect the plorts for me type shit. Or I could get drones to feed the guys for me. In fact, I could probably build two different... Uh... Like I... No, I think I can have one drone with two uses. One of the uses being uh, collecting the food and giving it to the, to the slime. And then the other one is to uh, like collect the forest and send it to the market line. Or send it to the market. Yeah, so once I start actually selling these damn uh, floors, I'll have a fuck ton to sell. Like straight up. Yeah, because it looks like most of these are maxed out. This one's not. But, like, the, the, uh, the Mosaic Tangle guys are maxed out. Both of the groups in the, uh, the main area of the ranch, those guys are maxed out. And they got some extra to afterwards. Uh, these guys might have, might be on the verge of getting maxed out if it wasn't for how little autumn you can produce. You know, there is a pathway inside of the lab that could have taken me straight over here, and I didn't take it. 
Also, I ended up figuring out how many ranks are in the 7ZE Rewards Club. There's 28 in total. I'm on rank 22 right now. I'm rank 22, which means I only need 6 more ranks on the uh, 7ZE Rewards Club, and I'll be done. That's it. Like, I won't have to do anymore. I can just move on to complete the rest of this shit. Once I get that next upgrade though, this shit gonna go crazy. Hold on, let's collect all these real quick. Phase one. Collect all of them. I also ended up figuring out that there was ways I could have actually harvested the phase lemons that were in, uh, that were in the, like the phase lemon trees that were at the ancient ruins. I could have actually harvested those without having to Thing. All I would have had to do was just shoot food at the tree, and it would have actually given me some. Like, it actually made me a bit sad when I figured that out. I was like, damn. All that time searching for a damn crate just to get something I could have gotten without having to get a crate. Yeah, it made me feel stupid. Doesn't matter, though. Not like it's that big of a deal. And now I know it, so... Anytime in the future when I want to do shit like this, I know to do that type of shit. I also ended up seeing my first ever bit of footage of gameplay from Slime Rancher 2. I saw a guy play like, he did a 100 days challenge. He played Slime Rancher 2 for 100 days. Bro, first off, that motherfucker was so bad at Slime Rancher. The amount of times he jumped off the fucking map is insane. Like, I don't think he's alright in there. Type shit. Because he jumped off the he jumped off the edge of the map for no reason half the time. It's like have you never played a slime rancher game before? My dog. If you've played Slime Rancher 1, you'll know, like, don't be a dumbass and jump off the fucking map. Oh boy. What the hell's wrong with you? What the fuck? Oh, damn. That's bad. <laughs> Alright, I'm back here. Alright, let's continue, my boys. Bam! I have returned. these fuckers. I also figured out uh, what those, what I could do with those mud balls. Those mud balls that be all around the map. I figured out what, how to get the kooka out of them. If you don't get the fuck out of my way. Goofy ass hunter. Hunter slimes do be goofy. Especially when it's that reminder and shit. Where's one of those machines that there it is. Does the machine disappear too? Hold on, let's try it. Bam. Oh no, the machine doesn't disappear. It just resets. I bet. Alright. Oh, fuck off. Alright, collect more. Now I know if I see any mud balls, I need to collect them. Can y'all, like, go away? Why you on my dick? God damn! Fucking hell, what was that? 
Obviously, it was one of those goofballs. I don't think it was one of the, the Hunter Saber ones. I didn't see the motherfucker go invisible before attacking me, so. Well, let me get closer to my screen. So I was way my fucking. God damn, man. Now my fucking, uh. For some reason. The way I have my room set up is like really compact over here in this area. And so like right now I got like a keyboard stand digging into my leg while I'm trying to set up my setup. It's literally because the thing I have my my computer set up on is a bucket. It's a literal like two buckets stacked on top of each other. Is what I'm using for fucking desk for my computer i need to start like before i start recording i need to start like pulling it more outwards so that i have a place to put my fucking legs this is kind of like damn flies flying around my room god damn, fuck off like wait y'all on my dick for what hold on let me feed that pink fucker real quick bitch Try to come at me for what? Punk ass. Yeah, yeah now you dead, huh? No, Y'all ain't ready for me to end up running into a a lacking Kooka Dooba mud ball. Dooba. Dooba. up here. Doc. What the fuck? I'm not fucking low on fuck. Say low while I have sent me. No, I'm opening the crate before I leave. I'm not leaving you. You staying right there. I do like that you can use the same machine over and over again. I do like that. Instead of it like... Cause at first I thought that the machine disappeared after it was used. But now that I know that it doesn't, I'm a happy man. I'm a happy boy. Like... Using those mud balls? Like, usually I end up leaving this place with like 20 to 30 kookadobas because I don't know how to crack those mud balls. But now that I do... I'm already at 20, and I've been, I haven't been recording for anywhere near as much time as I usually do before I end up hitting the same time. You know what I mean? God damn, I hate the way I'm sitting right now. My posture is so dog shit right now. Purely just because of the way my fucking, I need to pull out this. I get at least where I have some kind of area for my legs. Sitting like this is bullshit. Much better. Much better. <sighs> then I'll move it to, to I'll move it back to how it was before once this verdict, once this recording's done. I'm back. Kadoba. Uh, More mud balls or something in this bitch. Alright, two more coke doubles right there. Love to see it. Okay. Climb Rancher 2 did look uh, pretty fun though. I'm, I feel like I could have a lot of fun playing it once I do. Once I actually start playing it. Hey, another mud ball! Hell yeah! I'm gonna wait until I regain energy and I'm gonna go over there. That way I can pop this hoe. I 
house to bring us some teleporter that I didn't do. That teleporter will lead me back to my area. I think it gives anywhere between 3 and 5, which so far I've been getting lucky so far. I've popped open 3 mud balls, I've gotten 5, 4, and 5 out of them so far. The rest of the Kuka Doves I've collected, I've found one by one. Individual oh, shit. Let me check if there's any Kuka Doves up here. Yeah, there's one right there. Oh, come on. You're, there we go. Made it, bitches. Stop sitting like that. I need to stop slouching. Because that should be hurting my back and I'd be sitting there slouching the whole time. Like, fucking hell. Shit feels like it's like warping my back. I feel like I need to visit a chiropractor at some point and get my fucking back fixed. Good God. I'm hoping that this video ends up like barely hitting 30 minutes because uh, if it ends up reaching like 40 or something, I'll have reached the uh, like I'll have reached the time that I want to go to sleep by. And there's something else I want to do tonight before I go to sleep. Catching my drift. Fly right over here and the hunter. Grab that couple of gold that we next to. Then send the Galargo. If I can actually. Like, where the hell? Fun. There we go. Fuck. on me right now? She One Kukadoba away from hitting the 40 mark? I don't know how much it caught, how many Kukadobas it's gonna cost me to get the next item thing or whatever. But, yeah. Another Kukadoba, I have to get the dirty one, cool. If I find any like slime science stuff, I'm taking it to more Kukadobas down here. There's one right here and then cool. that the mud balls could give me more kookadobas. You know how many more kookadobas I would have already had by now? God damn, I remember finding a spot where there were like five fucking mud balls. But I didn't know how to crack them open, so I just left them there. Because I knew that they contained kookadobas. And I knew that if I could break it somehow, that I could actually get the kookadobas out of it. I just didn't know how to fucking do that. 
I just thought the statues were for show. And that the, the Kukadoba mud balls just had to be thrown against something or some shit. But no, then I figured out the statues actually were used as like nutcrackers, but for the mud balls. And I was like, okay, that makes sense. It gives them a fucking purpose. It's their only purpose. Stamina come back. I need to actually check how long I've been recording for 20 minutes. I right, cool. I'm gonna keep going for about another 10 minutes. Hey, another mud ball. Hell yeah. Thingy over there. Let me check over here real quick as well. Okay, another Kukadoba. And then I check over here. I hit the 50 mark and another mud ball. I'm gonna crack open the mud ball and then I'm gonna run through the portal. I think. Well, you better not fall off here. Gotta make sure that you're gonna poop really cool. Poop, 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 poop. So let's get this mud ball cracked open. Damn. This is the most amount of people who've been I almost hit the halfway point on that. Oh shit. Yeah, let's get them all out fast. 55 out of 120. I don't know what the hell they want me to do with this shit. Spicy tofu? I don't got any plans for this shit. I'm keep it a stack. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Probably nothing. Hold on, I wanna try I wanna check something. If I run up to this door, can I use it like this? No, I can't. Yeah. It is uh Ogden's house and not mine, so I guess it makes sense why I can't use it as a place to sleep. It is kind of annoying though. Hold on, let me check how long I've been recording for. Let me check the 70 Rewards Club as well. Alright, alright. Alright, I'm gonna do this. There we go. I'm gonna end the video off here, guys. So if you like what you saw, please leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss an upload. If you want to check out my other socials, it's going to be about section of my channel or to the description of this video and all my other videos. With that all being said, my name is Fate. This has been episode 32 of Slime Rancher, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.